Hi, in this video we would be learning about how to add the decimal. This is in the series of the videos we are talking about decimal number representation and uh, how do we convert the fractions to the decimals, how do we represent the decimals on a number line. Here we will be talking about how do we add the decimals. So for addition what we do, what we have to do is we convert this or we just try and put it into the uh, into the forms of 1, 1 tenth, 1 hundredth and so on. So let's take the first number 0 0.35 so here one column is 0 the tenth I have 3 and in the hundredth I have 5. To represent 0 0.12 the in the ones I have 0 in the one tenth I have 1 in one hundredth, I have two. If you have any problem in trying and converting this, I would strongly recommend you to see the previous videos in this series. So after converting that into one, one tenth and one hundredth, I then try and add that. So this would be the simple addition how we were doing for the whole numbers. The same rules apply here for the decimals also. We try and Add from the rightmost column 5, 2, 7, 3, 1, 4, 0. And then where do we place the decimal point? The decimal point is placed while going and seeing what is there in the, new, uh, in the first number and as well as in the second number. Here the decimal number is placed after two numbers. Here the decimal number is placed after two numbers. So in this case also we have to place the decimal number, decimal point after two numbers. So this is my answer. There would be a curiosity here that if I have something like 1, I have something like a 0 0.12 and another number I have 0 0.035. So in this case, where should I put the decimal? After 2 points or after 3 points? Let's say to add this. What I do need to do is, I need to put a one more zero over here, just to get and try and adding the number three two five again one. So this gives me zero point one five five. Why I have put it here is like you have three numbers one two zero after the decimal. So you have to put the decimal number before three points or you can say that I am going from here to here three numbers 0, 1, 0, 2 and 1 here also it's 5, 3 and 0 so I am again coming here 5, 5 and 1 it's a little uh, easy to understand in this form that it's same as the whole numbers the only thing you have to deal is with uh, dealing with the decimal point where to put the decimal point and decimal point you have to put by seeing how many maximum columns are there after the decimal. So here you can say there are three columns. It's actually representing the one thousandth of the number. So you can have to put the decimal after three numbers from right. Okay, let's try and do one more. It's 280.69. It's 25.2 and 38. Now, here if you see the 25.2, I can say it's like 25.20, it's and 38, I can say it's 38.00. If I try and add that, 628, 5, 13, 1 to 10, 14, 4, 1 and 343.89. So, why do I put a decimal number here? Because I, from right if I start, the decimal number is after two columns, 9 and 6, after two columns. So here also it has to be after two columns, 8 and 9. It's very simple rule. The way we add the whole numbers, here also we have to add in the same manner. The only thing we have to consider it is like these decimal numbers were not present before. And once we add it, we get a complete answer. After that we have to just put that decimal number back from where, uh, like from the numeric, from the you can say from whatever the IDs we have. 
the next one we have a summary of the same so what is it it is the same as we add the whole numbers starting from the smallest value column on the rightmost side for adding and carry forward the sum till the leftmost side then place the decimal point at the place value where it was from the right in the added numbers so after this we go to the some problems on how decimal addition it's the same like uh, you are saying that Rashid spent rupees 35.75 for maths book and rupees 32.60 for science book find the total amount spent by Rashid now in these types of sums what would I first recommend is to write the data so what is the data data 1 is Rashid already spent 35.75 rupees for a maths book so the data 1 here is 35.75 rupees and rupees 32.60 for a science book ok so next she is spending data 2 and data 2 here is 32.60 rupees now what we have to find is we have to find the total amount spent by Rashid now to find out that we try and add this number so here start from the leftmost column oh sorry rightmost column 13 1 5 2 7 1 8 3 3 6 you have to put the decimal point after the two digit or you can say from right you have going 100th, 110th, so here also 100th, 100th, uh, 110th and try and put the decimal point. So this way we found out the answer that the total amount, after that we should write this, the total amount spent by Rashi this, rupees 68.35 so this way uh, we actually deal with a problem we first try and write the data of the problem after writing the data of the problem we try and add that because it is we are trying to find the total sum you should can write here it's a total after writing that we should write ok as we are asked in a problem statement we have to answer in the answer statement that the total amount spent by Rashid is rupees 68.35 okay let's try and do one more on this to reinforce the same Naresh walked 2 km 35 meter in the morning and 1 km 7 meter in the evening how much distance he has walked in all so I have a data 1 here and that data is Naresh walked 2 km 35 meter in the morning and the data 2 is he walked 1 kilometer 7 meters in the evening so now we are trying to add these two numbers or you can say if I convert it into kilometer this is 2.35 kilometer sorry 2.035 kilometer now there would be question how I am uh, directly converting this into kilometer so I already asked you to uh, I would ask you to refer my previous videos on the same this if I want to convert into kilometer I would say it's 1.007 kilometer ok let's try let me explain you one little detail 1 meter is 1 by 1000 kilometer or you can say 1000 meter represent to 1 kilometer so if I am trying to convert 35 meter it would be 2.035 or you can say 35 by 1000 kilometer so I can say it is 2.035 kilometer I already taken one section one video on this how do we convert them in the applications of decimals uh, how do we use decimal into day to day life now after this uh, 1 kilometer 7 meter I can represent it as 1.007 kilometer now I got a two data one is 
another number is 1.007 now I have to add them to add them I start from again the same thing the rightmost column 7, 5, 12, 1, 3, 1, 4, 0, 2, 2, 1, 3 kilometers if they have got this into the state into the problem statement we have to write the distance Naresh covered in total is 3.042 kilometer you can form your own statements saying the distance he covered in morning and evening together forms to be 3.042 kilometers or or Naresh covered the distance total distance of 3.042 kilometer anything but as we have got it in a problem statement the answer should be in a answer statement so with this we end the topic or we end the topic of how do we add the decimals thank you